How y'all doing guys? This is Davey back again. And what the heck am I doing back on Digimon World 3 you might be asking? Well it's been a little over 5 years since the last time I even touched this game since I did the LP for it. But I thought I'd come back and visit this game and get some of the extra stuff that I may have not gone through throughout the entire LP. Like going through the card battles and some of the other digital DNAs that I may have not gotten at, uh, during the time. So. I figured I'd at least go through like uh, go through the card battles and all that other stuff, so I can at least show them off and how to get some of the better cards in the game and all that good stuff. At least this will be a good time to at least uh, have some time to prepare for my next LP. But don't worry, I have a few choices in mind. I'm just kind of debating at the moment. So I'm at Amaterasu City's Inn. I'm at the point right before the uh, humans would turn into Oinkmon. I'm gonna make it stay that way, so. I can at least uh, do card battles and everybody else with uh, human tamers. So, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to at least try and go for some of the better cards in the game. And a very good place to grind for some cards is at the Amaterasu's Lake of Ice in the North Sector. So I'll see you guys there. Alright, so here we are at the Amaterasu Lake of Ice in the North Sector. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to try and kick down some of these trees and try to find a card mod. Alright, is this a card mod? Let's see. Yes it is, alright, cool. Probably gonna go and hit it with a weaker attack, so hopefully it won't... I tend to think the more health it has, the lesser chance it'll flee. I don't know if that's exactly true, but at least it'll... At least it'll... Yeah, okay, it's not gonna flee. Unfortunately, it's gonna hit me, and, it... and if it does hit me, I'm gonna have my stats curse, but... I don't know if it'll happen if... Ugh, oh, really? Since I have the counter crest and I can counter its attacks, I don't know if it actually curses me. I can't remember, but I I think it does. I just happen to be lucky and not get cursed there. All right, hopefully I can take it down with a Mega Crusher. Provided it hits. Come on. Yes. All right, that should take it down, and it does. All right, good. 9.99. I wish I could take it down with just a single hit uh, every single time instead of just having to rely on the weaker technique first. But oh well. So we defeated the Cardmon. That's the uh, strongest Cardmon you can find in the game. So pretty good experience. Pretty good amount of bits. And you get 14 Bs. So you can hunt for the Cardmon in the trees. And you can also hunt for the Cardmon in the water. I'll go ahead and take on the um, a Cardmon in the water. Oh, this one's trying to attack. Unfortunately, it did hit me, and ugh, my stats have been cursed, but no problem. Shouldn't be that much of a big deal. Hopefully, it won't affect me too much in terms of taking down these card mines, so I'm going to go for it. And this Mega Crusher is taking up a lot of MP. I need to start really going for my MP, too. <laughs> Hopefully, this will take it down. Come on, you better go down. You better... Yes! Got it! 991, that's no biggie. Alright, so we took that one down too. 282 experience again, 470 bits, and this time we get a 15B. So if you take down the Cardmon in the water that you can fish out of the water, they give you 15Bs, and the ones from the tree give you 14Bs. So that took me long enough in terms of trying to take down these Cardmon, because they're pretty tough. And of course I'm going to be doing this for a little while in terms of getting all the better cards in preparation for the uh, all the card battles and all that stuff that we're going to be going through later. But I'll go ahead and head back into the uh, uh, Wu city and we'll open up the booster packs and see what kind of general idea and what cards we can grab from them. I'll see you in the city. Alright, here we are in Wu city. Now I could have stayed at the Lake of Ice a little while longer to uh, grind a little bit more for some booster packs, but I'm going to at least show you the general idea of what cards we're going to be getting out of these booster packs if you fight the Cardmon both tree and fishing cardmon at the Lake of Ice in Amaterasu. Because trying to grind for all these booster packs is going to take a while. And I'm going to need at least a lot of these uh, better cards that you can get in the game. So let's see what we can get from the booster 14 beat. So we got a Metal Guru Mon, Malamiotis Mon, Black Imperial Mon, which is a great card. Uh, well, the brown ones are actually really good. Since, of course, they don't cost any... Uh, uh, use it, any blocks to use them. A uh, Bulbmon, which is brown, a Skull Setamon, and a Gatsumon. <laughs> a Gatsumon. 
Okay, here we go. Booster 15B. Okay, Deceive Cloak. Pick one card from the deck and add it to your hand. We get two Seraphimons. We got a Machine Dramon. A Chrono Balance make both players have three cards. And you get a Bobamon. So as you can see, we can get some of the better cards from these booster packs. Now, of course, there are the eight booster packs that you can defeat uh, card tamers. But some of them are actually pretty tough. And uh, personally, I think taking down the Cardmon would be a lot easier to get the uh, cards. And I'll, I think a little bit less time consuming, if you ask me. <laughs> but those are just some of the general idea of some of the better cards you can get in the game. So I'm going to have to do that for a little while before we go into the uh, card battles and all that whatnot. So yeah, it's going to take a while. <laughs>